We're back for crew battle uh, Iron Man finals between Armada and Mewtwo King. Uh, I'm excited. So, Jerry. recap, if you haven't been around, um, Mewtwo King defeated SJJ in the first round. SJJ playing uh, in place of PBMD, uh, who's not feeling too hot. And he had a sick fox. And he had a sick fox, and that's all we remember from that set. That's all I remember. Yep. Sick yep. fox. It was probably a very close set. No oh. one really remembers. Um, it Anything was just. Else. It was really long. So ago. anyway, Mewtwo King Armada, or Mango Armada Mango was Armada. the second set. <laughs> yeah, and Mango dropped a lot of unfortunate stocks. Um, had some really good ones kind of interspersed, and Armada won by three stocks. Uh, I think the I think one of the important things in that in that crew battle was that Armada seemed to be able to. There were I feel I feel like there were more moments where Armada was playing a matchup that was good for him as opposed to Mango. Hmm. I think he took the lead early and then yeah. he got to just like exactly. win the counter pick war. He well, won the first match, which really set him up for future counter picks down the street. So yeah. Well, I think the other problem was Mango's Falcon just did not put in the work it was supposed to. Yeah. That was a, and and Armada Sheik took like some absurd number of stocks, yeah. which probably shouldn't have happened. Was a uh, Armada Sheik paired up with? Mango's Falcon. Yeah, and then, the and then, yeah yes. and then Falco. Yeah. And then Ar and then Mango's Falco like traded stocks basically with the Sheik. Yeah. Which was I just think bad. Armada picked all his characters very intelligently. Yeah. Um, yeah, that sounds like him. Yep. <laughs> except the Falco, but Well, except the Falco, but his the Falco, Falco did was what it pick. needed to do, I think. Yeah. In in terms of the strategy that he was going for. Right. So But it works. Yeah. Knowing that it was his weakest character, I guess it wasn't the worst time to send that in and save his two best for anchors. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious, do you think Armado is still going to have both Fox and Falco? Because knowing Mewtwo King, he could potentially get two oh, FD yes. picks. Uh, right? That yeah. might change things, or are you character locked? Well, we just talked to Armada a little bit, and basically he has his four good characters, and he said if he had to pick a sixth best, it would probably be Falcon. A sixth, a fifth best. Or a fifth, fifth? And a sixth. Well, he sixth. said after the Falco. Fifth and sixth. Oh, yeah, so okay. saying fifth, sixth, so he's like fighting for Falco the fifth spot. Falco is five. After the Falco, probably Falcon, but he only likes it in a few floatier matchups, and other than that, he doesn't even know. Yeah. So he's going to probably stick with the Falco. Knowing that, he's going to stick with the Falco. You could defend the young Link choice. Yeah. You could. Mm, yeah, but that's only yeah. if Mewtwo King goes floaties, I think. Yeah, but he's going to have a floaty on his squad. Yeah. Is he gonna go we don't know that yet. Though. Well, no, he will. It would be good against his Peach. I think in particular. Maybe mm -hmm. Marth. But I'm I'm going to go with almost every other character from Armada's who just do better. Is this better? Peach. Yeah. Oh. On average. So. Uh, right. They're not starting Fox to know. Are they really? Dude, Dude, that's crazy. King, no right? way. That is crazy. I think that's crazier for Mewtwo King than it is for Armada. Yeah. Um. Just because of Mewtwo King's overall confidence level with his Fox in general and the matchups he likes it for. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Armada, by starting Fox, in case Mewtwo King started Sheik... I don't even know I if this is them. Is that's that them? Because because yeah. because the, the fox is white. They're that's not a green there. fox. Well, they're sitting there. Well, <sighs> but if it uh, so if it is fox to those, Armada would start fox, assuming Mewtwo King would probably start Sheik, and uh, would get rid of one of the kind of counter picks, or like make use of his fox before and not just let it get countered to FD when it has a lot. That's of true. Stocks. True. That could, true. That could be true too. Yes. Yes. Oh, there. Oh, okay. okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. So the go. double blind. Same, <laughs> same thing. So it is Mewtwo King starting Sheik, which makes sense. And Armada again would start the fox, so he doesn't. Get counterpicked hard later on with Marth. Hey, this is a treat, by the way. We have not seen uh, Armada's Fox versus Mewtwo King's Sheik ever. We've never seen this. Yeah, I think ever? Armada prefers going Peach. Like I, yeah. from what I can yeah, tell, actually, he doesn't yeah, like right. Fox versus Sheik, where he just doesn't have the experience. Or he just knows that. I mean, and I would too. I mean, he beats Mewtwo King's Sheik every time he plays it with Peach. He, he's beat, yeah. He beats every Sheik Th with Peach. There's no reason to like give Mewtwo King what he wants, um, right? I think he definitely needs to start picking up the matchup with Fox because as the Sheiks are getting better and better, that matchup is harder than NTSC. So you yeah. mean I'm, I'm, I mean like I've never seen Armada really lose. Like I've he seen him play a Amsa in Europe, <laughs> and that's like Pal Fox versus Pal Sheik, which I guess they're both nerfed a little bit. But he absolutely poops on Amsa. On Amsa, but Amsa's not their best Sheik anymore. Against over Triforce at the last tournament or two they had, like over was taking him to like high high percents last stock. Mm. Like he was doing some things to him, and that's in Pal. Um, I just think a lot of our Sheiks. The, I think the the best North American Sheik versus Peach is KK Kirby Kaze. Yeah. I think it's hands down. He knows the combos, the punishes so much better. Mm. Other so, than Mewtwo King, of course. Uh, I think, uh, or even more so. I think Mewtwo is the better player, knows Sheik better, but KK knows the Peach matchup better. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. So if Sheiks were had KK's knowledge and like Mewtwo King's skill, I think Armada would lose it. It's always something like that, right? Okay. That's, that's how I feel. But anyway. yeah, it, it is that that is like a yeah. If, if, if Falco's all had you know West Balls of Shines and Mangos, yeah, yeah, but but, but, but uh, yeah, I mean. I mean, we are getting better as a collective, so. And oh. I mean, it's gonna, we're all going to slowly start taking stuff from each other. That's just how it is. Right. But so, as we said, this is a treat, though, because it is Armada's Fox versus the Sheik. Mm -hmm. so let's see what he knows. He 
He's got to know stuff. Like, oh. I, I feel like he has to be practicing this matchup. Oh. Oh. See, that was that, that, was that up tilt. That, that was that right. up tilt. So I'm just going to go with Armada knows that hitbox. Yeah. That's, that's, it's, 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 that's what I was trying to say. It's, it was, it's more of a hitbox thing than a DI thing. Um, it's got to be. Yeah. I did not know. Mm. No jump. That's it. But again, as we say, Armada has a lot of practice against Sheik with Peach. And for those reasons, he obviously is going to have a lot of Fox Sheik experience too. Just, yeah, just, just, just to know what to look for, even. So, um, like, his brothers all still play Sheik. Like, that didn't yeah, change. Yeah, that so. doesn't change. I have to imagine he's played this matchup with Android countless times. Aniolas. Aniolas. Uh, Alright. Interesting. Yeah, at higher percents, down throw just straight up leads into down smash. Oh, no oh jump. my god. Well, here we go. Armada combo. Still still no jump. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Jesus. I this really like how Armada jumps out there to kind of threaten that area to force yeah. out the early. Yeah, the like babysit. The baby <laughs> is that what it's called? The babysit? Are yeah. we calling that? That's the babysit. Huh. Mewtwo and King is also very, very good at that. He does that in Sheik Dose a lot. Yeah. Babysitter? Mm -hmm. hmm. I remember this is all off that one shine when Mewtwo King did not have a jump. That's crazy. Just yeah. so much damage. Yeah. That's how you get your I think that's how you get your uh your kills, your big damage on Sheik, everything is like get, getting her. Without oh. a jump, it's just oh so my. huge. I like seeing up Sniper Shield. I feel like I don't see that enough out of Foxes anymore. Mm -hmm. People like, are too scared to do it. They perceive it as like being frame imperfect compared to like Shadow Shield, right? Yeah, it's just like, oh, up Sniper Shield, that's too easy or too like not technical optimal, but like it'll get you the kill. Like optimal. Yeah, in that situation, if you're gonna shield that get up attack. Yeah, that get up attack. So oh, many. Came with a light so shield. many active frames. Yeah. Oh, Nair. He just nares him. So this is one thing that Mewtwo Kings complain about a lot, which is uh, fighting spaces when they're low percent. Like, how do you get them to the damage where you can start actually using your moves? Yeah, like, I, like put them into tumble, basically. With Sheik, or in general? With Sheik. Well, it's all about avoiding the crouch castle, first of all. So yeah, you space most outside people, the space Most outside people the do it with castle. grabs. Can't Sheik, right? like, just get a grab? <laughs> yeah, but is, can to get just, that grab is pretty hard, though. Can you just get that grab? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this matchup does oh. become easier and easier uh, the higher percent the fox is at. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, for sure. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. When you get outside of that crouch cancel percentage, it, it gets so much easier to combo fox. Get him to pop up with, like, your dash attack, your F-tilts. Uh, just, just get him off stage, get him up, and so you can combo him with that fair. That's pretty much it. So. so interesting, he's going for just fair and just shield. Yo, shoutouts to Armada for being that dude who's playing Mute King's oh. Sheik for the first time and destroying it. With oh, wow. In a matchup that... Oh! I mean, first time in this matchup. First time in this matchup, that's what I mean. Oh, did they give him the stock? That does. Okay. okay. I love the way Mute King uses Nair to tech chase and just do things. But no other Sheiks do it that way. And yeah. it's such a big hitbox and such a good hit. Yeah. She's like, I feel focused too much on the forward air. Like, oh, it angles him downwards. I need to use forward air. Right. But the cool thing about Nair is it's like, it's strong everywhere. You can get that reverse hit like you just did. Cover options with it. Ooh. Man. Wow. wow. I really like what Armada's doing right now. Putting on a lot of laser pressure. Crap. Yeah. Really forcing Mewtwo King to take a risk. Yes. I think Man. that's a really, Mewtwo really big. Take a risk? Which Mewtwo King, right. Mewtwo King, he doesn't okay. want to. Wave dash and shield. Right. But see, like, if Mewtwo King just keeps doing that, you His know Armada's gonna shoot him in the face. Yeah, yeah. And, and Mewtwo King's shield is getting really small wow. right now, so... I was gonna say, yeah. Yeah, he's he's kind of going in with the table back there. There you go. Risk. Yeah, that's he, the risk. He, he didn't made. know what else to do but boost grab. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, with the shield going down, you can see him just start to pressure, cor corner Mewtwo King with the back airs. Just keep, keep applying that pressure, applying that pressure, so... And just uh, finally force his hand right there with a the shine. That's it. Do you think we're gonna see Marth FD on a two-stock fox? I think. Uh, Sheik? I think yes. Yeah. I think okay, yes. Good. Right. Is that okay. the right call? Uh, probably. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's that. Uh, or, well, I mean, it's, right. it's oh, that sorry. or what? Like, Mute King, is Mute King gonna go Falco or something? No, right. He so needs this to is, get rid of the fox. Yeah. This is this it. is where the Martha has to do his job. I think. Yeah. This is also where if Armada like plays like a you know like a Smash Con Leffen, and just like runs away <laughs> with this right now, like this could be the crew battle. Oh, okay. thought, he thought Mewtwo King was going to smash DI through him. That have was like too much respect, if anything. Have we seen much of Mewtwo King's Marth versus Armada's Fox? No, we have yeah. never seen this. Same thing. On FD. Oh, oh my god. god. If oh. he gets oh. a sh Okay. Oh, There's no. Oh. 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 Yeah, okay, 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 okay. The wall bounce. Not wall bounce, the wall ride. Oh, whoa! Oh, oh my Did god. He take that on purpose. That was oh. Silent Wolf versus Pew Pew. Yep. Game 2 on Yoshi's Story. Yep. Right there. Jesus. There we go. Oh. Here we go. 
Catch a death. Hey! Uh, uh, oh no! Oh, oh no! So you two king! Yeah. No! He can't nab. be. He can't be dropping these. No, absolutely not. He needs to convincingly take him in Mewtwo king fashion. Yeah, he FD. needs to remind us <laughs> why he's the king. Exactly. He can't uh, not be the king. Oh. If he's not the king, then what is he? He's just Here's a Mewtwo. Oh. And Mewtwo's bottom tier. What was that up to? I missed a wave dash or something. Yeah. Oh, no. come on, Jason. Jason, you're better than this. Oh, God. He just said something. He you're just the, said something. You're I the mean, king of the muse. Shakes head. You have to do it. As soon as Mewtwo King shakes his head, you know it's over, right? It's bad. Yeah, he's, he's in his set, he's in his the head. Set, the match, whatever. This is like the 20, 2011 Mewtwo King. Oh god. Oh. Okay. I'm surprised. He when he was in his own head, disaster. right? Mm -hmm. I don't think he ever got out of it. Sometimes. sometimes yeah. I'm not There's sure still a little bit of that that sometimes part it, of Jason. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like he still has a little bit a little bit of him inside his head. Well, maybe he'll take a stock. Oh my god. If Armada had reacted to that, that, would, that was another. Oh uh, no! Oh my god. Oh he's no! Actually he's getting four stock right defeated. now. He's actually getting four stock. Yeah, he's getting four stocks. You think he's getting four stock on FD as Marth. As Marth. I guess Defiance. That should never. Because we saw. We just saw Mute King's Marth uh, against Johnny's Falco. And what that's. What, what, what it's supposed to look like. Yes. We just saw that. Oh god. Well, I guess Johnny's Falco is a little less threatening than uh, Armada's Fox. Yeah, who knew? Down, okay. You know, in a way, I think this is actually a good thing for Music King to, to kind of learn, just for the, the main event starting he, tomorrow. He, uh, does he look at it that way, though? Does Armada look at it that way? Armada might. Armada might be using this as valuable data collection. Yeah. Oh No, what are you yeah. doing? Right. Yep. I've never understand what people Two more lasers and oh. up throw upper kills. Ooh. Oh, oh my! my. That's four stock. Uh, Base, yeah. Oh, yeah. he's four just forfeiting. Stock. I agree. He's yep. forfeiting. I agree. Yeah. Wow. That's all we needed to see. Yeah. Jesus. That's all not right. What he can do. So <laughs> okay. crew battle's over. All crew right, battle's over. We, we we don't even know what Mewtwo King's other two characters are going to be. We'll never know. We'll and never know. But if the Marth couldn't take a stock, I don't think the Pichu is going to. So. Uh, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. The you Pichu. know what? <laughs> Blur's back there <laughs> vehemently disagreeing with me. Blur spent a good five <laughs> minutes trying to convince me that the Pichu yeah. had something I, special. Uh, I don't... Uh. Armada, as it turns out, is a very strong melee player. Um, hmm. Very yeah, uh, who knew? Uh, like <laughs> strong fundamentals. Good punish game. Champion of the last two really big tournaments. Yep. F things we just need to be reminded of, yes. really. Yeah. Armada's coming in here. Try He's trying really hard yeah. to look stoked. No, yeah, there it is. Adam. 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 Uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to swap out for... Okay. On the bright side, we didn't yeah. have to watch the Peach Ditto. We didn't... <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like watching West Balls' Marth versus like Nintendo's Marth. Like, I don't... Interesting. Uh, I don't need to see that. Interesting. What's up, dude? Yeah, what's uh, up, man? Uh, is that the first time you've played his Marth? Um, in the tournament environment, yeah. Uh, we played Friendlies quite a bit. Fox mm. versus Marth last summer. Um, so because he wanted to prepare for, you know, Leffen right. and Mango and... 15, 20 other Fox players. So he still hasn't taken a stock off your Fox in a tournament environment. Um, <laughs> it's unfortunate. I, I guess that's an unfair so way still, to put it. Still, but so we're the, the the stock rate is looking real good right now. It's still still sitting at 100. Yeah. Uh, to okay. be fair, though, Mewtwo King, uh, it looked like something was wrong. <laughs> it did yes. Look, it did uh, look like something was wrong. But Missing up throw combos, that's... It's rare. Yeah, and not only that, it was like some tilts and stuff. Like he, he did... Complained a little yeah. bit mid match. Uh, we saw that. But <laughs> to be fair, like when we played like before Sandstorm and last summer, I feel like I feel okay with FD as Fox against Mewtwo King. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like I know him as a player and his style very well. <laughs> and he's very grab heavy, mm -hmm. Marth, compared to like uh, PPU or uh, PPMD. So I feel like I have a pretty good read on him. But if you play slightly off against Mute Kings, Marf, and FD, uh, you could get four stocked instead. Yeah. yeah. How many times have you four stocked Mute Kings, Marth on FD? No, no, that was the first. <laughs> right. That's One. what. That's right. what. And then that's after what that, that's what we thought. did you expect him to just forfeit right there? Do you think that was the right call? Mm, or I think mentally he forfeited mid yeah. mid match. Yeah. He already, already forfeited. Forfeit. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. 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 I feel like in that moment he kind of gave up, and he felt like it's no way coming back when he wasted both Sheik and Marf on two Fox stocks. It's, in one way, I can't blame him because it would be too hard of a comeback to make, most likely. It would be inhuman. 
Yeah, pretty much. He is a robot. So, <laughs> yeah, he is a robot. Maybe he can turn off the emotions. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. So I, f I feel like in his mind, he probably felt that he, w he had lost already, and it was just a waste of time. Yeah. But for the viewers, I think it would have been more fun if we continue playing yeah, towards right. to <laughs> then. If that Pichu would come out next, who knows what would have happened. <laughs> <laughs> he actually suggested having four series characters and one unserious character. Mm -hmm. And of course, but did not. No, I, I said, like, I think we should play, you know, mm -hmm. our best characters. Well, I mean, Pichu could be one of his best characters. As It took something like 10 stocks off Johnny? Um, Wait, what? <laughs> it took a lot of stocks it off S2J. It took too many, it was, uh, too many stocks. Let's talk about every... Well, let's... I mean, let's we, don't talk about to, we don't have to talk about it, but let's... But, but I want to point out that every uh, every loss in this crew battle series was like the loser basically got soul crushed. If you guys remember, that's pretty soul crushing. No one was trying well, by the end of like like well, everyone got everyone got ruined. Well, Mango, Mango and Armada was like reasonably close. There right? was did the you, moment there was the like moment was in close? Fox Peach where Mango just. Oh, you mean? Um, but I don't mean think like that was him no, getting I soul crushed. That was just an unfortunate. Like <laughs> the thing is, against Mango, I I don't mind playing the Marf Ditto. Like at, when I was a Marf main many many years ago, I did not like it at all. But also, I played a little bit with Muge King last summer in that matchup, and I realized that yeah, it looks like a, an okay matchup for me. And then, the moment Mango realized it was going to be a Marf Dito, he was like, no, uh, that's the ma one matchup I did not want to play. And so you hard read him, like, going Marth first? Or? Actually, yeah, I, I thought he would go Marth first. Yeah. So wow. it was uh, a prediction from my side, and it paid off. You have been making, actually, I think not just today, uh, very recently I've been we've been seeing you in some crew battles, and you've been making some... Really good calls on who to send in first. Yeah, uh, like I did so bad in Mafia, like most of the reads. <laughs> so I have to, I like, I have to, you know, make up, for it, make up yeah. for it. Yeah. Even the crew battle. You guys won the crew battle yesterday, and what, who, you guys sent in Kage first against Alex, and that was like clean. Yeah, but that was more of a team decision. Team uh, decision. Okay. Yeah. And then I remember, uh, was it like WT Fox or what was the tournament where there was like Team Leffen and Team Armada? Oh yeah, and FC. you went in first against uh, Nintendo. Oh I had a feeling God. they would. That is the that is the gutsiest call. Yeah. So th that was pretty fun. <laughs> I, I think like some Armada, a legend at like the first pick at crew battles. Oh my God. Yeah. The the one the one time I do like really regret like the decision we did in the end. It was mm -hmm. Apex 2013, I think. It was the World versus America, mm -hmm. and I had a feeling Wobbles would go first. So I was like, maybe I should go first. Ah. But then we went with Gucci instead, Gucci. and I felt like. Our only chance to win Almost. was to win the first game. And I did okay. remember the fact that Wobbles went first for West Coast at Genesis 2 or something like Jesus. that. So I was like, hmm, wow, they might Maybe, go for the IC yeah. again. But that time, I was not brave enough. Yeah, because the, the Peaches are never going to go first. Again. The IC is almost always a safe bet to go first, is what at least West Coast always thinks. The that. theory, uh, right? I, the I, theory. I don't think so. Well, that's... I think you should pick a character that is not losing heavily to anyone. Yeah. So, so your worst, yeah. worst matchup is still like... Roughly That's even. the safe thing to do. That's the I safe like thing to do. I think the theory one level up is that like because ice climbers are so easily counterpicked, but because if you think about it statistically, it is unlikely they'll send Peach in first. You get the ice climbers out there, and then you 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 know, presumably if they do what like like a very common crew battle tactic is like send in one of the weaker players first, like like send in Alex first, send in or or in that crew battle they send in G Money first, like send in just kind of like a standard guy who's like not amazing, yeah. and let the ice climbers go to town, and then even if they get counterpicked, the ice climbers have far and away done their job. I feel like, yeah. So it's kind of a. Sometimes game. in a bigger crew battles, I think it's more reasonable to put in the weakest player. In very, very small crew battles, I actually do not support the idea mm. in most cases, especially if it's like a big gap between players. Because if you lose the first game and it's only four players, then you're going to be in disadvantage in ter terms of matchups, maybe for the rest of the crew battle. Yeah. And it's going to be rough. Mm -hmm. I feel like winning the first game and have, you know. Uh, the character and matchup advantage is very, very important. And maybe throw in uh, a weaker player against someone who only has one or two stocks left. Okay. So mm -hmm. maybe they can clutch it out and then regain basically a full stock because right. they won the game and they're back to 0%. Was that what you, were you thinking sort of that along those lines when you went Fox in for uh, at first against Mutiki? Uh, I was 95% sure he was going to go Sheik. Yeah. And I felt... We're probably going to go to Dreamland, and then I'm not going to play as aggressive as I usually does. Because I think my Fox, except for like oh, super floaty characters, I think he's pretty aggressive in most matchups. Right. But against Muji Kings, Sheik, I was like, when we play friendlies, I realized, no, it's not worth it. Right. You, you stood the Leffen style against Muji King and Dreamland, and it's much, much better. 
So, yeah, that was my reason for going Fox. I thought he would go Sheik. I thought the stage striking would go to Dreamland. And then I played a bit more campy. Than that, that's I a pretty does. easy read, How though. Does he know all this? Well, that's a pretty He's easy a data read. Scientist. No, that's, a data scientist. No, that's a pretty easy read because Mewtwo King, uh, Sheik is a safe bet as a starting character no matter what. Mm -hmm. And against any Fox he ever plays, I've only seen the strike to Dreamland except against Johnny. Yeah. Johnny's the only Fox I saw not strike against. Where did they go? Battlefield. Right? Maybe Johnny yeah. learned of Dreamland. Yeah. So that's no, that's all it could be. Because yeah. Mewtwo King will always strike to Dreamland. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. As Sheik. Against Fox. Do you think that's a good call on Mewtwo King's side? Because like I'm actually feeling like Dreamland is not that strong for Sheik versus Fox. These I days. feel Sheik is not that strong against Fox. Period. If <laughs> I will be completely <laughs> right. honest. Okay. But no, it, stage wise, uh, I would say Fox, Fox and Falco in particular, they are very. How do you say? They can play many, many different styles. Mm -hmm. If you play against a more aggressive Fox, I think Dreamland is a very good stage for the matchup. Uh, but if you play against a more defensive Fox, I do not think it's a good stage. Mm -hmm. And Mewtwo King probably thought I would play way more aggressively because if I play against Marv or Sheik or the Fox Ditto, I like to take more of the control of the mm -hmm. match mm -hmm. by playing aggressively and apply pressure. But on that stage, I felt like, no, I should probably run away and see what happens. Because well, part of it is Mewtwo King is so used to striking in tournament settings where he's going to play on most of the stages. So, like, just get Dreamland out of the way probably a lot of the times is his tournament mindset because he doesn't want to play their Marth anyway and they'll just counterpick to other stages later. Right. But in a crew battle, that's actually, that's a good point that if you're going to play Campy, he should actually try to get rid of Dreamland and play you somewhere else because that matchup's only going to happen once. Yeah. Guaranteed in a crew battle like this. So that's like extra like levels of crew battle mind games and stage striking because that's how stage striking can differ in tournament setting versus like this crew battle setting. Well, uh, well, I think uh, I think you did your thing. Yeah, my Falco was almost destroying the round, though. My Falco is so he's not good anymore. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Top four and then a destroyed by this guy. Distant fifth. All right, so we'll be back with I believe some exhibition matches. Yep. Uh, after a short break, I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna yeah, congratulations again. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right. Overwhelming victory. Thanks, man. I don't so know we'll if be you back. guys want to... Yeah. 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 <laughs>